Good morning, everyone. It's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess. Um, my voice is going to be very croaky this morning. Actually, been really quite off colour all week, but I haven't felt too bad in myself. But um, <laughs> this morning I'm pretty croaky. Okay, so it's Friday, folks, which is always good. So, and I have nothing to do this weekend, so I'm. Um, I'm pretty able to sort of chill out, which is really nice. I think my body needs it. And I've been doing a lot of healing. And somebody did a session on me this week. Thank you very much to that person. I love you dearly for stepping in and helping me with some of the stuff that um, I know is still holding me back. Um, but it put me it put me here. So obviously I needed to purge. So that's all good. So positive really is okay so I have temperance coming in how beautiful I've just said about purging um, this is the card of balance and it's also the card of divine timing what this card means is that you've got all your ducks in a row now it's like everything is just going falling into place here um, you know it may be that you've been working on yourself it could be that just things are just all around you just happening the way they should but this is divine timing here. Um, I do have the hanged man here. So maybe you've reached this through some sort of enlightenment here. But you've definitely taken time out here to really look inside yourself to understand what's going on. Um, there is some stability being brought in too, which is really cool. So by going through this, you've brought more stability in. Yet, yeah, And you've been able to let your burdens go. This is fabulous. Um, and look at you looking out towards the world now, knowing that you can open yourself up and talk to people. I always think when you get disorders with your throat, um, glands, throat, all those sort of things, there's some sort of clearing of your throat chakra. And it's always been something that's been really difficult for me. Um, I've always found it very hard to speak my truth, um, uh, you know, to be, to, to really speak from the heart, not that I'm not honest because I'm, I'm disgustingly honest, <laughs> but to really say how I feel to people has been really hard for me. So I've always been the type of person who's put up with things I shouldn't have put up with. My voice does sound a lot worse than I really am. So please don't feel sorry for me because I'm good. Um... The first card we have out here, sorry my alarm's going off, the first card we have out here is the Four of Pentacles. Now, the Four of Pentacles talks about hanging on to stuff. And I always say to people, this is not always hanging on to something that you're actually consciously aware of. Um, some of the stuff we have deep inside us is very, very hidden. So it takes a lot of work to get to that stuff to really understand how that affects our behaviour now. Um, we talked about this lots of times before, you know, as a child, if you're told that you will never shine, you will never amount to anything, then becoming what you want to be may be very hard for you because you have that inner belief that someone else has installed in you. So those little tapes that people give you when you're, li when you're young sort of stay with you in a very different way. And this is about being able to release what is holding you back here. Um, the Five of Pentacles is here as well. So some of this can be about work as well, you know, not being able to get the type of job you want, always ending up in sort of jobs that you feel are maybe dead end or, or are going nowhere. Um, this is the card of feeling very sort of much like you've been left out in the cold too. So maybe through doing some of this work, I have to share a dream with you. Because I feel like I need to, especially because this card always makes me feel quite spiritual. Ever since I was a child, I've always had this dream of a graveyard. And sometimes this graveyard appears in a house. So sometimes I walk into a house and the graveyard is actually in the house. In the one last night, it was in my father, who my stepfather, who died many years ago, 20 odd years ago. Um, and the graveyard was, he built his house around this same graveyard. And on one of the graves, there stands an angel, and I always see her. It frightens me. I don't want to go near it. It really scares me. But her clothes are flowing like she's wearing loose clothing, not like in a graveyard where she'd be made of stone. 
and I saw her again last night. So I know something still needs unearthing within me and I know I'm still working on it because that graveyard's appearing to me more now than it ever was. I used to dream that I'd buried dead bodies and I had to remember where I'd buried them. So I know my subconscious is really trying to tell me that there's something buried deep within me that I still need to find. Something to do with this angel every time. So that's the spot it's in. But I never ever, well, up until this point, I've not had the courage to go and do that. So I'm hoping that very shortly I'll have the courage to go and do that in my dream. Go and have a look and see what the angel's hiding. Um, Four of Wands here. So the Four of Wands talks about stability. So we've definitely got you here moving from a place where you felt very unstable, um, hanging on to things from the past, working on things, but now becoming more more stable in this card here. So again, if this is work, there is something to celebrate here. So you are moving towards something much more positive here. But it's a slow process. And I can see here, you know, with this five, with the four of um, pentacles, five of pentacles, we've been going backwards and forwards on them for some time. So I know that it is a struggle for you. Yeah, this is going to come in to help you free this up. So there is a tower moment here. And it just keeps coming up in the cards. And I'm like, I want the tower moment. Just come in, do it, finish it, go. Um, but of course, you've got to wait till the time is right. But the tower here is saying that it is very close. And the tower talks about what I was talking about with the four and five of pentacles. It's about old structures being broken down in order to renew you. This is about rebirthing yourself in theory, um, bringing your new self into the world, the one that you've hidden. Well, it's not new, it's yourself as you should have been. Oh, look at this. And it comes with a lot of love. Now, I know that this card comes up many, many times when we're talking self-love. So this is also about, you know, understanding the love you have for yourself, how to love yourself. Um, because it's been coming up too with many of these cards in past readings and some in personal readings. And look at this. How beautiful is this? This is going to bring about wishes for you. So if you've been feeling very stuck, very unable to unwind yourself from something, very entrenched in something that you've not been able, that feeling that you've not been able to discard, it's on its way. Okay, we do have a wand sign here. So it could come via a Leo, Sagittarius or an Aries. This person has a very, is very intuitive. They're going to open something up for you here. They are going to bring in your wish here by doing something, saying something, by bringing and bringing in this great truth for you. Yeah, look at this. And this leaves you in a position where you can manifest what it is you want. I love that the magician's got his hand up towards the Ace of Cups here. So by bringing in this self-love and knocking out these ideas or these old um, outmoded ideas you have, you are then able to manifest what it is you need in the world. Oh, lovely. So not only do you have divine timing up the front, we also have the Eight of Wands here, which means whatever this is, it's moving incredibly quickly. Okay. I'm just going to put some cards on the Eight of Wands here because I want to just give you a bit more idea. We keep getting sort of similar readings here. Now, what I want to say to you, if this is about work for you, if it's about a family situation, all of this applies exactly the same way. What it's saying is something about your self-love, your, your investment in yourself is not where you need it to be to manifest what you want. And something is happening here to bring in what you want. Now, for lots of you, that could be love. For some of you, it could be a dream job. For others of you here, we're talking about maybe you know issues or problems with your family, heartbreak. You could be grieving. Um, any one of those things but something here is about to shift for you so I'm just going to see what the eight of wands yet yeah, look second chance at something judgment card here we've got the card of the, an offer from a water sign here Pisces Scorpio Cancer 
So for some of you, this is somebody coming in to offer you a second chance at something. Um, judgment gives you a second chance at life. Okay, when you say that it could be whatever change you need because you are manifesting what you need here. It could come via a water sign, which means you could be offered a job. It could be the love you've been waiting for. It comes via a water sign here. It could be a family member. And that will release you from your bondage here. I shouldn't lay too many cards out, but it gives you the choice of being able to put down what no longer serves you here. So you're bringing self-love out of yourself here and you're bringing forward what you need to manifest, which is absolutely beautiful. So I'll just give you a wisdom of the oracle cards here. I love this Eight of Wands and the Rebirth card or the Judgment card and then straight in with an offer. So it's sort of like when it happens, it's going to happen really quickly. So once the process is met, the universe is ready to deliver that card. No, I don't want all of those cards. I only want that card. Okay, so we have the card of the Dream Walker. Okay, this is about dreams, the collective good and illusions. All I need is a little stand here, isn't it? The Dream Walker. And it is the card eight. Oh, beautiful. I dreamed about the number eight last night. Okay, so what it says here is when the dream walker is your ally, dreams really can and do come true. Still, there are two kinds, those of the small self and those of the divine spirit. Spirit has a dream for you that is yours alone and all you need to do is ask and it will unfold like magic. Very, very beautiful card to get this morning. Have a wonderful day, everybody.